In a new film, an ex-CIA agent teams up with a Hollywood actress to liberate enslaved children throughout the world. Their team's operations are not officially sanctioned by the U.S. government, but they get results. How's that for a pitch? This movie is not actually a thriller written by Hollywood screenwriters. It's a documentary about the horrors of child sex slavery and the real team trying to stop it. One of the teammates in the movie is wa The Walking Dead's Lori Holden, who joined a recent sting operation saving the lives of 36 girls in Colombia. Earlier, I spoke with Lori Holden and the man who planned the operation, former CIA agent Tim Ballard. In the spotlight tonight, the team behind Operation Underground Railroad tells their story. Lori, I understand that you got involved in this, uh, partially at least, because of the Writers Guild strike, the last Writers Guild strike in Hollywood about uh, 2008, I think, um, where I and others were out there on the picket line, uh, my union, and you found something worth doing uh, at that time that, uh, that, that act, since actors were mostly out of work because production had shut down. Yes. Um, during the writer's strike in 2008, I, um, I volunteered to uh, work in South Africa in uh, a, a creche, which is a daycare center for HIV orphans in Kailicha. And what I learned was that many of the children um, who had HIV had been raped, because there was a myth that if you have sex with a virgin, you'll be cured of AIDS. So, so many of these children, and they were young, I mean, really young, um, had HIV because they had been raped. And um, it just, you can imagine, I spent months of my life with them, um, taking care of them every day, and I, I was so, uh, <laughs> My heart just broke, and it kind of changed everything for me forever. And I went back to the United States and, and was angry and um, very vocal about it. And I met other like-minded people that were as upset um, as I was about all the injustices going on in the world with children. And then I learned that children were not only being raped, but that there was a market for it, that they were being sold. And that's when I got an education. And um, that was my introduction to human trafficking, was uh, later on in that year, I was invited to go to Southeast Asia, and uh, I met with the International Justice Mission, and uh, with a group of volunteers, we, we visited many shelters, but we went into the brothels, and in one particular one in Phnom Penh, we were able to rescue a handful of girls. Um, so that's when it all began, and uh, I think uh, OUR knew about some of my uh, volunteer efforts, and I'd spoken in Washington with USAID, uh, so they knew I was very passionate about the issue, and um, they invited me to join them on their jump team, and uh, I said yes immediately. Ah, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I, I understand your feelings. You can't, you can't meet and work with the children of Africa and not think very quickly, what can I do? What can I do to help? Uh, Tim Ballard, how did you put an operation like this together, going in and trying to rescue these girls? Well, I worked as a special agent and undercover operative for 12 years with the federal government in child trafficking. So I learned how, how to do this. And um, about, a, about, about a year ago, we decided that we could um, do things differently, provide a different set of tools, and fill some gaps that weren't being filled. And so I got some experts with me, and we, we went in, and um, we've, we've actually uh, done several of these rescue operations. And we were lucky enough to have Lori with us, and we were able to go and, and do this in, in Colombia, work with the officials, work with uh, the U.S. Embassy, who, who also was very supportive of this. And uh, together as a team, we were able to do some, some real good in, in, in dissolving uh, these child, the child trafficking organizations and rescuing these children. The whole way this was set up is that um, Tim acted as if he was facilitating a big party. And it was done months in advance, where he met these traffickers, he gave them a little bit of money, and he said, you know, I have a friend of mine, he's having a bachelor party, we're going to come down, we want a lot of girls, we want a lot of young girls. So Krista and I were the only two women, the jump team members. There's 25 of us total on all of the missions, um, and five of us are women. There were two women on this one, Krista um, and myself. and. Um, and basically, we had to pose as um, party girls, because a lot of the 
the men that go on these sex tours go with their girlfriends. So we had to to act. We had to pretend that we were the party girls. We were there to have a good time, to, you know, make sure the girls were all pretty and groomed for the guys. So we had to, to sell the traffickers on the idea that we were the real deal. So that was an acting challenge. But when we were there, our role was to keep them by the pool and keep them calm. What was so difficult um, is that some of these girls were so young. I mean, 11, 12, 13, they were shaking. It was really important to, to make sure that they didn't leave the area, because if they went into the middle of the villa where the sting was taking place, if anything went awry, they would have been in the line of fire. Um, when everything went down and the guys were on tape um, saying that they were selling these girls and how old they were and there was an exchange of hands, that's when, you know, the bust was up, and that's when I was able to take off the wig and comfort the girls, and it was—there was a lot of tears. And, Lori, uh, after you get the girls out, uh, what is there for them uh, as the alternative once they're out of there? Well, that's what's so wonderful about this organization. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things that, that, that appealed to me. The first thing is what, what Tim just said, which was that um, um, OUR works with the U.S. Embassy. So there may be um, uh, this uh, preconception that this is so, some sort of, like, you know, maverick style, like we're invading countries and helping with the kids. It's not quite like that. It's very well run. It's very organized. The U.S. Embassy works with local and national law enforcement um, so that we have vetted units. So it is, is, it's, we have the cooperation of every country that we're going into. Um, that said, in answer to your question, um, it doesn't end with just the rescue. Family Services comes in, they fingerprint the girls, they give them medical exams, they find out exactly who they are and where they came from. And if they have a, a good family that they can go back to, of course, they're reunited in those homes. If not, there are state-run rehab centers where they're um, given psychological psychological counseling and education um, and vocational skills, because in a lot of these countries, uh, you know, so many of the girls, they're back on the streets because they have no alternative. But they're, they're taught and given an education, so they have options, so that prostitution or, or this way of life is, is no longer uh, something that's going to be a way of life. Lori Holden and Tim Ballard, thank you very much for what you're doing, and thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you.